What will happen when you enroll a 16-year-old player into an under-18 national tournament? Hello, this is KJ. I'm the father of Tim Lim, who is one of the state-level badminton players in Malaysia. In this video, I will share with you on Tim's experience on his very maiden national under-18 tournament that just took place very, very recently. The Petronas National Under-18 Championship 2024 it's taking place in the city of Alostar in the Hall of Kuda Badminton Association. The date is 8 to 12 May 2024 and obviously it is a Wednesday to Sunday. The tournament is in Kuda and obviously we need to travel from the KL area in our case from Petaling Jaya all the way to Alostar. It takes about 6 hours, 5 to 6 hours in a bus, a total of distance of 480 kilometers. A little bit on the situation of the court. The court itself is quite hot. Honestly, I have paid attention to the environment of the court. There are a total of 12 extractor fans in the hall, but unfortunately, it's, it's only like two of them that's working. So overall, the environment is uh, super hot, super humid. We felt that the air is not moving much. Uh, even as an audience sitting down on the audience seat there, you would just sweat non-stop. And obviously early in the morning and late in the evening will be slightly better, but in the middle of the day, all the way up to like 3-4 p.m. is really like an oven. Okay, let's get straight into the game. So for Tim, in the very first round, which is the round of 256, he got a bye and obviously his next game is uh, in the 128. And his very first opponent is uh, by the name of Hung Jae Hong and the opponent in general is uh, having a smaller size in his body. He is from Penang who is an ex-ABM national team player and just uh, exited the, the national team and joined back the state body. Tim will get some psychological challenge mainly because of two reasons. One, the opponent is younger when you are playing against a younger opponent you always get some pressure because you would really want to overcome the challenge because you're senior and you're being expected to win right second part of it it's uh, the opponent it's ex national team so that itself put some invisible psychological challenge on him and obviously you will see it in some of his gameplay later game one earlier part is obviously testing your opponent they're just doing some rally and the points are just following Closely, uh, Tim made some error and obviously opponent shots quality is high despite it's uh, fairly small in size. Tim tried a few attacking play and it is not really materializing and couldn't do the damage. That's what he's experienced in early part of the game. Tim managed to get some points in the front court section when the opponent is at the center court. Being a smaller in size body, the opponent is having some coverage challenges, especially in the front court. Team leads and at the interval with 11-8. Second part of the first game, seeing Team is trying to force more shots and those shots are not getting the quality that he wanted to. He's just anxious to finish the game but unfortunately putting more arrows into his own gameplay and that itself saw him lost the first game with 19-21. Share with me if you agree or disagree on the points I've made above in the comment section. I will at least read and try my best to respond to all the comments when possible. Game 2 is seeing also point to point, neck to neck, 4-3, then 8-10, team is trailing, opponent errors starting to kick in, interval happening at 9-11. Team's error is more obvious in this game at least in the first half and also the second half, earlier part of the second half. His error is definitely increasing because he's really trying to force the kill and trying to get points. Many of the shots were set up correctly but the kill it's just going out or not materializing. This is an indication of stress and team is trying to force the power into his smashes and obviously obviously when you are forcing your smashes you will not be able to get the placement more accurate later part in the second half opponent is trying all the deception shots but fail it is possible indication of tiredness and lacking of accuracy 
opponent is actually making more errors and the body language indicates that he's uh, tired just pay attention that his hands is at the waist then eventually squat down and that's a clear indication as i called out earlier the squatting down at 27th minute uh, dropping the racket at 28 minutes and obviously that makes team's job easier and team took the second game at least leading at 19-18 and eventually closed the game at 21-18. Third game is generally lopsided. The first half sees some resistance. Interval at 11-8, team is leading and obviously Opponent is trying to attack, but it just couldn't match team's speed anymore simply because it's too tired. With the small body size, the muscle mass just do not have enough energy to last the whole three sets. Team took the second half easily and finished the game at 2011. The video links are provided in the description section. If you are keen to actually watch it, feel free to do that. Overall, Jae Hong is extremely superior in his quality and choice of shots. I also have to call out that his fighting spirit is very very strong until he got really tired. By making it into an ABM at the age of 12 has says it all. Unfortunately, he has not been able to grow as much as he wanted and kept his body size small at the age of 15. In badminton, if you don't have the body, you don't have it. Focus on the rest and allow the kids to grow if you're serious for his badminton journey. On team side, two lessons learned from this game. Number one, pressure mounting on him is being seen and obviously shown because of all his shots are going out. Number two, lesson learned to play with speed but not power when you meet similar type of players. When I say similar type of players, I actually meant high quality shots, with limited court coverage. So again, remember, use the speed of the shuttle, do not use the power of the shuttle. That concludes the analysis for the round 128. The next round 64 analysis will be posted soon. Until the next video, take care and please help to share the video to your friends. The more that we share, the more that we gain. Thank you very much.